Hey guys, um, during the last video you were so many to ask me to do uh, another one of those videos because uh, you wanted to test out some settings I didn't try or uh, some tweaks. Um, so this is an update to my last video that I did last week. Actually last week it was, uh, I didn't think much before doing the video, I just, you know, I just came home from the Apple store. <laughs> And I unboxed it and installed Minecraft right away, installed the shatters, and I did this video for you guys. Uh, so uh, today I have a little bit more time, so let's check this out uh, more in depth. So um, so as you can see here, I'm running um, the uh, Minecraft shaders. Uh, sorry, I called it shatters so many times last time. Uh, but yeah, so I'm running uh, the shaders mod on Minecraft on this Apple silicon uh, Mac. So I, as you can see, let me show you. Uh, this is... Uh, okay, so as you can see here, I am running the on the Apple M1 chip. I have precisely the 16 gigabyte uh, RAM model with one terabyte. Um, some people ask me if you really need 16 gigabytes to play Minecraft. Um, Especially with shaders mod. Uh, well, my answer to that, I think it's no. I think the the eight gigabyte model will perform just well uh, because I've seen a ton of uh, of comparison videos. Uh, what's you know what's the difference between in performance? What's the difference between the sixteen gig and the eight gig Mac MacBook Pro? And there isn't much uh, of a difference. So, um, and Minecraft actually just only takes. Uh, <laughs> there's a zombie here somewhere. Minecraft only takes uh, two gigabytes of RAM on its own, so the difference will not be when you play Minecraft, but it would be if you're do if you're doing so many things at the same time as playing Minecraft. Uh, for example, if you have Discord open um, and you're recording your screen at the same time, yes, maybe that's when you'll want to grab the 16 gigabyte uh, version. So, in terms of performance here, okay, so I am running, I also updated the Minecraft since um, the last video, so I'm running on 1.16.3. Um, so, and I also tweaked a little bit of my settings here, my graphics are on fast. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you're curious about what settings I used, I can definitely share that with you guys um, in the text file. All right, so let's go into sh the shaders folder. Um, and so I'm using Sildur's enhanced default uh, version 1.11 because uh, I tried many, well, okay, not that many. But I tried uh, four, I tried four shaders and only this one worked. The other ones would just crash or uh, like the, the game would entirely crash or um, I would get I would get like a black screen afterward with um, uh, something that would say like invalid composite one error or something. So for now, this is the only shaders that I know works on the Apple Silicon M1. Um, and as you can see, I am running uh, 50 about 50 FPS, uh, and this is native re resolution. Um, I am plugged in. Uh, you can see I am not on battery powered like last time. So, so yeah, so I'm getting about 50 to 54 FPS right now on native resolution. Um, so what I usually like to do, and I don't really, I don't see much of a difference actually, is to uh, tweak down my render quality here. Let's put that to... Um, Maybe 1.75, that should be awesome. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I am not, uh, VSync is off at the moment. So I am getting about 100 FPS right now. And this to me looks just as good as native resolution really, um, or almost, I, I do see a little difference. It's a little bit more blurry, um, but, oh, so when I move around, it drops a little bit, but uh, yeah. So I, as you can see, it can definitely handle um, the the Apple M1 can definitely handle Minecraft. And you know, this is awesome because it is running under an emulation here. It is running 
um, with uh, Rosetta 2. So the moment, you know, Microsoft is currently working on porting Java to the Apple Silicon uh, with Apple actually uh, and Oracle. Uh, I'll leave uh, the link in the description about that. Uh, this is this is awesome because the moment there is a native Java support for the M1, we will probably see like double the performance here, and we might be able to install more shaders, uh, shaders, sorry, uh, and that would just be totally awesome. So yeah, uh, what else can I show you here? All right, so let's try out now at 10 1080p. Um, how many FPS do I get? Let's put that back to uh, one. All right, and let's put our full screen mode to 10A. Oh, I'm missing the option here, guys. Hmm, all right, well, I guess for now we'll have to, uh, let's close to 1080p, I think. I think this is all right. All right, let's let's try that. Let's try this out, um, and let's put this on. Oh. Where did it go? <laughs> I think it just crashed. <laughs> let's try that again. All right, so as you can see, this is not exactly 1080p. It's a little bit uh, over, uh, so it's uh, 1280p, uh, let's call it. Um, and so I'm getting about 75 FPS, as you can see here. Um, but you'd actually have, you actually get better performance with 1080p. Um, now let's try, yeah, not bad at all, actually. Now, uh, let's try, um, Crack that down a little bit again. This is also close to 1080p, I guess. Let's try that. I think that we will have to put that on and off again. And it crashed again. All right, so it crashed again. Um, sounds like <laughs> it looks like there's uh, Minecraft has trouble changing the resolution while in game on the Apple M1 for some reason. All right, so we are back. Let's wait till it loads. I did notice that when it when it uh, when it's still loading, when it's still fresh, uh, you do not have many FPS. Um, it takes a while before the world loads and it becomes stable again. Do I have VSync on? I do not. So it looks like there's not much of a difference between 1280p and 1050. So far. Did it, did it work? Did it really change to... Yep. All right. That's weird. Well, uh, there it is, guys. Um, so this is uh, again Minecraft shaders, shaders uh, running on. It's really hard to to start saying shaders when you said when you pronounced it shatters your whole life. <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah. So here it is, Minecraft shaders on on the M1. Um, I did want to showcase one more thing. Um, so what about the perf the performance of of this while you are recording your screen? Let's um, time. Set. Oops. Uh, so let's try to record something here. Let's record the gameplay. All right. So we are recording right now. Um, and we are still at 70 FPS, around 70 FPS, 
and this will record up to um, the screen's uh, frame per second so it's good this is going to be a oh we saw like a jump in FPS here um, but uh, yeah so the video that I'm recording will be uh, 60p uh, 60 FPS um, so I'm actually I'm actually gonna So yeah, so there, there you have it guys, it is totally possible to uh, play Minecraft with shaders while recording your screen um, <laughs> on the Apple M1 and this is not even native, this is, this is under emulation. Um, now let's try to push it a little bit further, um, let's try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the uh, all right, so I stopped uh, the recording here. Now let's try to put everything back to native resolution. And there we go. All right, so we are native resolution now. We are at render quality one. And let's try to record our screen. I do not need my microphone. Record. All right, so, wow. <laughs> All right, so we are dropping a little bit in, in, in frames per second, um, but it is totally playable and it's, it's starting to yeah it is totally playable if you're if you want to record something again play with your friends um, it is totally doable and you're you're not getting uh, bad FPS is here and this is under uh, Rosetta and running shaders so um, yep <laughs> this is Truly, truly amazing guys. I'm really impressed here. Really impressed. Um, and my render distance is at 12 chunks. If I put that down to 10 and I am still recording, I do see it on my touch bar. Now I am getting <laughs> almost 60 FPS. Oh, dropped. I dropped a little bit. It is definitely smoother than just earlier. Um, yeah, wow, totally awesome, totally awesome. Yeah, that, that's about it. Um, it is a basic shader, uh, shaders. As you, as you can see, there's no, like, lens flare or, um, like, the, the water does reflect here, but, you know, it's not purple or anything, um, uh, and the sun is still, you know, there. it is, it is a basic shaders, uh, but for now it works. For now, that's enough for me to. Uh, I didn't. I didn't buy the the MacBook Pro to game on it, but it's it's a nice bonus to have that it can handle uh, Minecraft when I feel like you know let's let's play Minecraft a little bit. Uh, oh, and by the way, guys, I do have my own Minecraft server. Uh, I'll you know what I'll leave that in the description as well. Um, so um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you uh, for watching. I hope. I hope I answered your question, and if you're still unsure about um, buying the M1 or not, uh, you can always get in touch with me uh, in the comments. Alright, see ya!